Hey, y'all. First off, I'm going to start off by saying thank you for the subs. Uh, I hit a thousand and, you know, I never really expected to get that many subs. Uh, like I said before, I don't really consider myself a YouTuber per se, but I do appreciate the support. You know, if we did agree, if we disagree, um, you know, I do appreciate you guys taking the time to come here and watch my videos and subscribe to me. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. I know a thousand isn't really much to a lot of the other YouTubers out there, but to me, it means a lot. And I appreciate every last one of y'all. Okay, now to the point. I saw this tweet from my boy Rob Screen over on Facebook um, in the Gods of Destruction group. And he shared a uh, post that he saw saying that this form, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, really fits vegeta i'm glad that he took this path to achieve super saiyan blue evolution now he was just as confused as i am because it's like what exactly did vegeta do differently to achieve this form tell me what did he do differently it came out of nowhere there was no lead up to it there was no talks of this form it's just out of nowhere he achieved a darker shade of blue with more fairy sparkles around it. It's like Ultimate Vegeta, just blue hair. Now, the whole events leading up to it was cringy enough. I'm sorry, I don't know if y'all agree with this or not, but his relationship with Kaba is cringe. It makes no sense. It's such a reach for Vegeta to have this connection with somebody that he didn't even know. I mean, did you forget about your son? What about Trunks? Why don't you have that connection with him? Since now you want to be all emotional and stuff about a kid. It's like you didn't even bring him to the tournament of power. And we all know him and Goten can make Gotenks in fusion. And that would have been a great attribute to the team. Y'all bring Piccolo T in. And, and don't give me the excuse that... You know, Goten and Trunks don't know how to fight in tournaments. They're just kids. They wouldn't have taken this seriously. When we all saw them fight each other at the tournament and go up against Android 18 at the tournament, they know what a tournament is and how to how to act in a tournament. So don't give me that excuse. You know, despite the fact that Fusion's power in Dragon Ball Super is completely nerfed and underwhelming, Trunks still would have been a good asset. That's why I appreciate Dragon Ball GT. They, they show the fact that his, one of his best perks is his leadership, you know, his intelligence. He was able to lead them to get the, all the Black Star Dragon Balls from throughout the galaxy. That was Trunks. Goku was the muscle and Pan was just Pan. But Trunks really is the one that led them to that. That's why I appreciate GT Trunks so much. But, you know, I'm getting off topic. That's a whole discussion for another video. But like I said, the whole relationship with Kaba was completely, extremely forced. And then now he has this form that has absolutely no substance. Like, what is it? Is he just stronger? Is he just faster? I mean, why is it darker blue? I mean, what, what, where did it come from? Why doesn't Goku have it? What is it? I mean, it's just out of nowhere. But I can tell you the reason why it was created. Merchandise. Toy does not want to make the same mistake they did with Dragon Ball GT by not making enough forms to sell merchandise. That's why GT went under. They didn't have enough. They didn't have enough characters. They didn't have enough, you know, butt pulled transformations to make merchandise to sell and people don't know that's how animation teams are paid from the merchandise which is why we have shows like ben 10 and you know still going on because the merch is selling people think gt got canceled because of ratings that's not the case it had nothing to do with the ratings and the ratings were actually good in japan it's because of the merch. You know how hard it is it was to find a Dragon Ball GT figure back in the day? Dude, if you found one, you didn't open it. You kept it in a package. That's how rare it was to find a Dragon Ball GT figurine. And this is why Dragon Ball Super has all these 
baseless transformations so they can make these toys. And this has got to be the most baseless transformation. I mean, next to UI Goku, people say that it was led up to, it was mentioned, it had lore to it beforehand. I don't really recall it, but people say it did fine, whatever. But there's no way that you can justify this form. It made no sense. None. And I, it brings me back to my my question I asked already. Why doesn't Goku have it? It doesn't make sense. Why does only Vegeta have it? What did he do differently from Goku to get this form? That's what I want to know. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. That That's what I'm trying to say. This form, it doesn't make sense. It's such a butt pull that... You know, it it's just it's just there. And yeah, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. So let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section and I'll see you on the next video. All right.